this morning was a bit messed up, uh, literally. <laughs> There's sewage coming out of my taps in the apartment, like black water. <laughs> so um, I haven't had a shower, haven't been able to do my hair. You can't even go bathroom when the water's not working. So yeah, rough start to the day, but um, <laughs> it's only gonna get better because we're gonna go around my favorite places in Delhi today. And maybe I can give you some inspiration for when you come to Delhi and the places you can visit too. Here we are, Rajiv Chowk, the biggest metro station in India. Is this for a street boy? Wait, wait. It's an epic street, man. My favorite street in the whole world. So this way you've got the president's house and it's the, the largest president's house in the world. And this same street is the street where they do the Republic Day Parade and they march all their guns and all their artillery down this road. No street to do it. You've got gardens and water on both sides of the street. And then at the very end you've got India Gate, you probably can't see it yet, but uh, we'll go down there afterwards. Yeah, so in front of us is the president's house. And there's only the, there's only the front two kind of left and right portions of it. It goes, it goes about maybe a hundred meters back. And then on the right there, you've got parliament. Yeah, but there's so much security in here and you'll see, we can't actually go inside at the moment. You have to have a, an appointment to go inside. But you can book an appointment through the Rashtra Party Bhawan, the president's website. And you can go in and you can walk through the actual premises. And so why do they build this? I don't know, ask the British. They wanted to build some epic yeah. <laughs> And they achieved it. These are the offices they work in. And in the very middle of this road here, at the end, this is the president's house behind these big gates that we're walking up to. There it is. I never knew this, but I just found this pillar and on the pillar it says New Zealand to India and it has a year on it. I have no idea why they say New Zealand right here on, in Rashtra Party Bhavan, but it's pretty cool. Yeah? Okay. Maybe. Achha. Selfie time, eh? <laughs> that was your first selfie with um, a local, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Did he have his hand on your ass? No. Okay. And Nick, tell us where we are. You pronounce it. Uh, Rashi Barabon. <laughs> he said it so wrong. <laughs> he didn't touch my ass. <laughs> like, it was just... Groped. Groped you. <laughs> His hand was just above my ass, you know, where like where the ah, oh, where the That's butt. not touching your ass. Where the butt starts. <laughs> no, but it touched it a tiny bit. And I was just like, just like you your hand hand up. Above my ass. I think he was just nervous or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Just like taking a photo of two foreigners. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I wrote a blog post about this before, like why Indians like to take selfies with foreigners. It's simply because these guys who are asking us for photos, they're. They're domestic tourists. They're not from Delhi. They're not from Mumbai. You know, those two guys are from Baroda, um, yeah. which is a, it's not a small city. It's a big city in Gujarat, but I mean, they don't get a lot of foreigners there. I've been there like multiple times because one of my, one of my good friends is there, but they don't see many foreigners. So for them, it's like a novelty to see us. <laughs> They're on holiday having fun and they want to go back with like a selfie with foreigners, show their <laughs> friends, you know, look, I met these guys. Yeah. Like imagine if we're in New Zealand and we didn't have any people that emigrated there, you know, there was no Asians or Indians or... Yeah. We, we would have never seen an Indian before, right? So we'd be like, whoa. <laughs> what is this? It's an Indian. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Take a photo with it. Ah. Put it in a zoo. Awesome. There we go. We made it to India Gate finally. That walk was way longer than it looked, right? Yeah, for sure. Maybe because it's like 35 degrees though. <laughs> no, nature, Yeji. You're knuckly here, no? Hello. Kyal Jal? Sab theek hai. Sab theek hai. Aap se hai? Hum Rajasthan se. Rajasthan se. Achha. Rajasthan bohut sunde hai na. Aap kaha se? New Zealand se. New Zealand. Ye kya hai? Dag lag gaya. Achha. Achha. Ye kya hai? Ye ye nahi chahiye. Kyo? Kyuki main admi hu. Why? Ye ladki ke liye hai. Aap le bhi aaye. Bohut sunde hai. Ha, bohut sunde hai. Hundred ka four hai. हाँ जी मुझे मालूम है हाँ लेकिन नहीं चाहिए चलो आपके लिए दीदी नहीं चाहिए भैया फाइव वन नहीं 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 चाहिए ओके भैया टेन रुपया सिंको नो थैंक यू अभी नहीं 
नहीं नहीं नहीं चाहिए चाहिए बोला तो समझ गई समझ गई आपको हिंदी आती है बहुत हाँ आती है इंग्लिश बहुत हाँ यू स्पीक इंग्लिश तू आपने कहा सर सीखा न्यूजीलैंड से अच्छा है हाँ ये ये मेरा भाई है हिंदी नहीं इंग्लिश हिंदी आती नहीं ठीक है भाई धन्यवाद So they always have this flame lit here. It's always, always going. There's bubbles in the air. Ajita. Hey guys, got a bubble machine. You can buy all sorts of gizmos here at India Gate. This guy's got this beautiful flute. And this is like the eternal flame, which never goes out. There's always this guard standing there. Poor guy has the the worst job. He's got to stand there and look at that flame. If I was somebody just be meditating. So the nice. streets are so nice here. Look, they've got lights here. You can tell we're in the area where the one percent live, right? <laughs> this is the government area, and on the left here is where Gandhi lived. So now we're at one of my favourite places in Delhi, Gandhi Smriti, and this is the place where Gandhi lived for the last years of his life and was assassinated behind in the in the garden. It's probably one of the most beautiful places in in all of Delhi in terms of. You can go inside his house, you can see his bedroom exactly where he lived. They've kept the gardens beautiful and you can just really enjoy and feel at peace here. This is how he lived, right? So he just slept on a mattress and had his writing table and his walking stick and his sandals and his sandals he even made himself. I'm gonna be here. And these are kind of all he was left with. I mean, these are all his remains, right? He, he owned very, very little possessions and that was part of his philosophy of... Was this all his possessions? Yeah. Having so few possessions like allows him to focus on what he was doing rather than having all these possessions cluttering up his life, right? So you can see the actual steps that Gandhi took, or the way that he went um, to that final to that final prayer ceremony where he was assassinated, just up here under this pagola you can see on the left. And it's so dead here today. There's no one in Delhi at the moment. It's too hot, I guess. Tourist season's over. So this is where it happened. This is where someone came and shot Gandhi a few times as he was giving his his prayer ceremony. You know, the world needs somebody like him around. He lived purely like our conscience tells us to do, but, you know, we never live like that, right? But he, he did. We're here at Kareem's in Kurol Bagh, and the reason I brought him to this Kareem's and not the main Kareem's is because this one is way less busy. Oh my God, the, the horns. <laughs> and, um, so according to me, this place does the best butter chicken in India. And uh, maybe Nick can confirm that for us in a, in a few minutes. Oh Who are you? I suppose. Hey? How did you hear those? We don't know you. Hey, Asma. I don't know her, man. I, I, I don't know her either. She's like some strange Indian person. Whoa. <laughs> this guy's looking at the menu, I don't know why. Because the only thing to order here is naan, these massive naans and butter chicken. Um, something really special is happening right now. Do you know what's going to happen? I have no idea. You don't know? <laughs> Dude. What is live? Look at this. So we so have good. the best butter chicken in the world right here. Oh. A massive plate of it, boneless too. And massive thick naans. Okay, so uh, I want you to just like put your finger in there and like taste it. Better than New Zealand? No. What? <laughs> this guy's crazy. He don't know. Please, <laughs> Indians forgive him for what he said. <laughs> I actually flew over to India for this butter chicken right now. And for this. I gotta say, it was worth the plane ticket, and I'll definitely do it again. Okay, he's not joking, he's being real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> This is Old Delhi and this is the area where everybody, this is what people think of India when they think of India in the West. They think of all the madness and the busyness and all the, all the street markets. And uh, well, this is exactly what Old Delhi is. So Old Delhi is the place you're gonna find all these really small lanes with all the power lines hanging over top and monkeys running around. This is what you imagined, you know? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> This is what you thought all of India would be like. But really, this is just a small part of India and this is just a tiny part of Delhi as well. And so here we are at the end of Chandini Chowk is Red Fort. Yeah. Hey.
amazing. I thought I could smell weed here, and then look what I found in the moat. Yeah. <laughs> That's the entrance. So you get this big whiff of weed, and yeah, this is the reason. It's so long. I feel really sleepy, you know. When it's really hot like this, when it's like 37, 38 degrees, and you're walking around for hours on end, your body sweats, and you don't only lose water, you lose body salts as well. You can drink a lot of water, but it's not necessarily gonna make you feel any better. It's not gonna make you feel less tired. So you really need to grab these things called ORS sachets. And these are oral rehydration salts. You put this in water, you drink these, and it literally, it really rehydrates your body. It puts all the salts back in your body that you've lost from you know, the dehydration and the sweating. I'm gonna go have that next, and I'll be feeling like brand new after about half an hour. I'll be feeling really hydrated at the moment. I'm just feeling really sleepy and sluggish. Now we're out of the madness of Old Delhi and we're in the posh southern suburb of Kos Kos. And this place has this amazing village with around 300 restaurants and this beautiful park um, that sits right behind it and it's called Deer Park and they've got a deer sanctuary there. And then on the other half of the park, it's this massive water feature, these massive water tanks that you can walk around and it's just a, a really beautiful place in Delhi to go. How did you like Old Delhi? Yeah, I gotta say, Old Delhi um, only could stay there for an hour. Red Fort was amazing. Could not stay there for more than an hour. Too many people, too smelly. Like, from where I was yesterday, extremely, extremely condensed and chaotic. So, too much. Yeah, and, and to where we're going now, it's gonna be the exact opposite. This is a, a really posh area of town where a lot of foreigners choose to live. Such a different, it's such a different ambience here, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Less people, uh... Girls in short skirts, you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just see a totally different crowd here, not one that you might be expecting to see when you come to India. This is kind of the, I don't know, it's not the yuppie crowd, the yuppie crowd is in, in around Chanakyapuri. This is more the, the cool crowd, I guess and I'm definitely not cool. And so this is kind of part of the, the house cast ruins. And um, to get that rubbish bit out of my shot, but this is part of it. See, you've got like, right behind, people have built their apartments all the way up to the, the ruins here. And but wait, come over here and have a look off the side here and I'll show you what I meant about like a water feature. So that was my favorite places in Delhi today. We started off in, in Rajpat and went to Rashtrapati Bhawan and then to India Gate. Then we went to Gandhi Shmurti where he was assassinated. Then we went to Red Fort in Changni Chowk to see the, the crazy side of Old Delhi. And now we're in the, the posh area of South Delhi in Haskas village uh, to eat and to enjoy the night.